is the one part we have okay and there will be the another part we are received as a style something like this so we need to make this interface okay so how we need to make this interface so that is the most important thing so we can start work out this particular concept okay so you need to make sure first you need to think about like which part is going to be assembled first okay i'll just name this as a part one and this is a part two so which part is going to be assembled first that is our most important priority and after that we can decide how this interface will be work out okay so now we will consider part one will fix first in vehicle okay so part one will be fixed first in a vehicle that we are considering and the second part will fix first so this is the assemble first that we are going to be check the condition okay so in the part first we are checking it's going to be assemble first what will be the condition of the part okay so that you can check so this will be the part we're going to be have and in that case this will be nothing but the interface will have okay so this is how we're going to get the interface on the part okay, something like this is going to be other part one now we're going to be other part second so that part will be get assembled something like this something like this now in this condition we will have the flush over here okay we'll have the flush condition what it means or gap condition so this will be measured as a gap between these two parts okay so this will be nothing but called as a gap okay in these two parts So value will be depend upon the requirement what will be the gap you can check and that gap will be depend upon how however we're going to be assemble these two components okay so this is the first case we have seen this is the first case we have seen when the red part is going to be assembled first and this second part will be assembled later on okay so this is the assembly sequence we have seen now instead of that we can check this as a name a and b so there will be no confusion this will be a this will be b so part a is going to be assembled first part b is going to be assembled first okay so now we'll check the another condition now the another condition what says part b is going to be assembled first okay so this we can make as a part b this will be as a, a. So now part B is going to be assembled first. In that case, what will be happen? Whatever we are consider in this assembly, in this case, this part is going to be assembled such a way that. So interface will be get reverse. Okay. Something like this, we're going to be have part B. Okay, so this is the part B and how it look like the part A, part A will be look like something this. Okay, such a way we're going to be on the part A. Okay, so this part B is now fixed first. In that case, the gap condition will be deeper or may have the same depending upon the in which this two part is going to be get fixed 
with with respect to that with regards to that the dimension will be changed and this is how we can name this as a gap okay so depending upon the assembly sequence why the assembly is important depending upon the assembly sequence we can check there will be change in gap but what are the interface we are calling okay what are the interface we are calling that will be deeper clear so what are the interface we are calling that will be deeper what we are consider right now so we received the class a surface style we received the class b surface style and now we need to develop the interface with respect to gap and flush so in this case depending upon the assembly sequence we have created the interface it will be part a is fitting first to the vehicle okay so this side we are seeing the vehicle this side we are seeing the vehicle so the BRW panel will be there so this part will be fixed first with the BRW with some means and now afterwards this part going to be fit second okay so same here this part will be going to be fixed first okay by some means and then this part will be assembled onto the PIW panel so these are the two conditions we have seen in that the gap will be some somewhere here we will get from the tolerance of this BRW to this manufacturing tolerance we will get this gap value here so gap is nothing but the distance between the two component here the gap between a and b it's something like we can say x value plus or minus y value okay so what is that x so that is a maximum and minimum gap we can get so what is the maximum gap we will have is x plus y is nothing but maximum gap and what is the minimum gap we will have so that is x minus y we'll have that is a minimum gap so consider this gap will be 1 mm plus or minus 0.5 so in in that case maximum gap will be 1.5 and minimum gap will be 0.5 in these two parts okay so that depend upon the totally tolerance stack up so if tolerance stack up have done the values we will get for the gap maximum and minimum and from that we can get the nominal gap what we need to keep in vehicle and according to that we need to have this tolerance as well okay so we'll make this as simple whenever there is a two component going to be get assembled we require a gap so this is a gap from the class a side what we can see the part so that is called as a gap and this is how we are going to be have the interface we need to develop depending upon the assembly of the part clear